Oh, hi. I'm Alex Navarro, associate editor of GameSpot. You know, these days, poker's the big thing. Uh, it's on the TV all the time. Everybody's playing it with their buddies. You know, everyone thinks they're a Hold'em expert. Uh, it's, it's, it's the craze. The kids love it. Everybody loves it. The problem is that whenever a craze like this comes around, companies are going to try to find ways to bilk you out of your money using the craze uh, and just uh, trying to induce sorrow in you by stealing your money. One such a case is uh, ValueSoft's World Poker Championship. This game is $20 at most retail locations, and it is thoroughly broken. It is messed up, it, it offers almost nothing, uh, it is awful, it is an awful game. The thing that's especially egregious though is you can play poker on the internet for free. You can go anywhere, anywhere on the internet. There's poker, you can go there, and it's free, and it's not broken, and this is $20, and is broken. Just to demonstrate just exactly how bad this is, uh, let's, let's do a little compare and contrast. Let's, let's look at internet poker, what's good about it, and look at World Poker Championship, and what's horrible about it. When you play poker on the internet, you can play people online. There's all kinds of fake money poker games out there. You can just kind of play with people. It's no big deal. It's easy, it's fast, it's fun, etc. With World Poker Championship, you can't play online. There is no online play in this, despite the fact that they are charging you money. You have to play against uh, up to 20 awful AI opponents, all of which are either way too conservative or bet like crazy before the flop and just generally are destroy. like, they're just awful. They're terrible. And if you do, by some miracle of chance, want to get someone together and play this game in some sort of multiplayer fashion, the only way you can do it is through LAN play. I'm totally having a LAN party. Nah, no, not Halo 2. No, not UT2K4. Counter-Strike, no. D -d -d no, check this out. This, this is awesome. World Poker Championship. Nah, uh huh Hello? Hello? Yeah. LAN. Local area network. Poker. That's not happening. When you play poker online, the interface is pretty simple, usually. It's just a little window, you got your cards, you can, you know, people can muck their hands if they, they want to fold. You can see how many cards someone drew if you're playing five card draw. It, you know, it's easy, it's fun, it's simple. In World Poker Championship, again, not the case. The interface is, is horribly broken. Uh, you play five card draw, you don't get to know how many cards your opponent drew. You're playing Texas Hold'em and you can't really muck your hand at all. It shows you what your opponents had at the end of every hand, no matter what. So there's no real, like, strategy to it at all. Not to mention that the game looks atrocious. The, the, the models for your opponents are horribly jaggy, 2D, don't really move at all. Uh, the cards are just crappy looking. It's just awful. When you're playing online, you can just kind of have whatever music or whatever you have in the background. Kind of listen to your own tunes, relax, satisfy. When you're playing World Poker Championship, you have to listen to two of the most brain-dead and horrible people just spout the same five things at you over and over again. An all-in bet! That takes guts. So folks, what it really boils down to is this. You can go on the internet anywhere, play poker for free, and have it not be broken. You can buy World Poker Championship in stores for $20 and get broken poker that is not fun. That seems like a pretty clear choice. Thank you for watching.